In Plato's Gorgias, two characters, Callicles and Socrates, debate over which way of life is the best way of life. And this debate begins with Callicles saying that he believes that the best way of life is being able to gratify one's own desires. So he thinks that powerful people should have whatever they want without any limits because they're strong enough to take it from others. Um, and he goes on to say that weak people only say that self-control and justice is good and the best way of life because they are unable to fulfill their own desires. Um, so the problem with this point of view comes in the way that Callicles describes it. He says that in order to live the best life, um, people need to be adequate to serve them their desires through manliness and prudence when the desires are as big as possible and always to have his fill of them whenever any desire should arise. So this he makes powerful people sound a lot like they're slaves to their own desires. He says that powerful people must be adequate to serve their own desires. Um, so it's starting to sound like somebody's desires are the ones that are controlling their actions, um, whether or not this is what's actually best for them. Uh, so we'll come back to this point. Uh, Socrates, on the other hand, says that the best life is the life of moderation, and he says that mindless people that pursue their desires without any limits uh, can never be happy, and he uses a metaphor to explain why. He says that the soul of the mindless is like a leaky jar. It can never be filled uh, no matter how hard you try. Uh, the jar will never be filled because it is constantly leaking. Um, so he uses this to say that people that mindlessly pursue their desires will never be satisfied because they're constantly struggling and suffering to get what they want. And instead of enjoying what they already have, uh, they're only worried about what they could have more of. Um, so kind of going back to what Callicles said earlier about being adequate to serve one's own desires, um, this point uh, made me think of addictions. So uh, addicts are addicted to things that will give them pleasure. They're addicted to things that they desire that should make them happy. Um, however, most of these things that people are addicted to aren't really what's best for them. Uh, things like drugs and alcohol and unhealthy foods, they might give that person immediate pleasure, but in the long run, they're going to go through a lot of suffering if they continue to pursue their desires without any kind of limit. So as they keep pursuing this desire, they um, become addicted to the point where they no longer have control over themselves. They start to do things that they normally would not do, all in the pursuit of something that they believe will make them happy. Um, so with Callicles' point, if people take that too far, if people live in excess, uh, they will no longer have power over themselves. Uh, their desires will control them.